Oh, man, you got to love a little Elton John on a Thursday morning, right? Rocket Man. All right, so we're in here. We're in the slope lab. This is the simulated <laughs> lunar operations lab. Um, there's a a ton of wheels, tires. I mean, there's there's some sandboxes. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Honestly, I'm not really sure on everything that goes on in here, but this is the guy that does. Phil Abel, and I want to read your title really quickly, just so I don't mess it up. You're the Deputy Chief of Mechanisms and Tribology, uh, Tribology Branch. That's I right. still read it and still messed it up. What in the world does that mean? What are you guys doing in here? Well, so you're in the Simulated Lunar Operations Lab where we are working on how to get around better on other planetary surfaces. On other planets, so like, like the moon and Mars and all kinds of stuff? Yeah, that's where we're headed. All right, so this is some of your research that we're going through. Walk me some of these, through some of these tires. I mean, oh, so it's, when we get into metal, this right? work, yeah, uh, we asked what's the state of the art off world where you have to deal with vacuum, uh, temperature extremes, as well as uh, high radiation from the sun. So typical rubber and airing them up won't work. You've got that. <laughs> and so we took a look back at what have we done in the past and the state of the art still is the Apollo lunar roving vehicle. Is that relatively uh, light? I mean... That's an exact replica of the 12 wheels that are still up on the moon. Really? From the Apollo era. <laughs> and so, Check it out! Oh, that's awesome. An exact replica of the 12 wheels that are up on the moon right now. And you notice it's all metal. Yeah. Uh, and it's got no air in it. It's non-pneumatic. Okay. And so uh, that allows us to uh, go to the moon, Mars, wherever. Um, and... Uh, continue to function despite those extreme conditions. Nice. Uh, and and that, this research, this is, so when we sent that up to the moon, that was, that was years ago. Back so there's, the that was back in the 70s. So now we've kind of progressed on to, to, to new ideas and new research? Or? Well, we'd like to have actually roving habitats up on the moon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> as one uh, possibility. To do that, you need higher loads, and the Apollo LRV wheel doesn't allow you to go to higher loads. Uh, working with our partners uh, just down the road at Goodyear, we came up with a new way of supporting higher loads with compliant tires, all metal. No kidding. Uh, and we're able to patent it. Awesome. Um, awesome. <clears throat> Co-patent it with Goodyear um, so that you are now standing in the lab where when we have to, we really do reinvent the wheel. <laughs> oh, genius, genius. Okay. Um, and so testing this out for load and stuff like that, come on over here. We're talking about this, this sandbox essentially over here. This isn't just a regular sandbox. You can't just test these wheels out like in the mud where, you know, I'd, I'd take my Jeep, of course. Um, this is, these kind of simulate different things, right? Correct. What, so, is, what is this one simulating? So on the right is a uh, lunar simulant, mechanical simulant. So it's... Okay. Uh, the right mixture of sand to give you the same mechanical response under your wheel here on Earth. It says uh, don't touch. I almost just touched it. As, as uh, <laughs> the Apollo <laughs> on the moon. And so this is, it, we, we did this a little bit ago, so I'm going to rush through this really quickly. Essentially, um, kind of the density with that and everything, I'm, I'm, I'm putting some pretty good pressure on it, and it goes down a few inches, three or four inches. This gray one over here, what does this simulate? So this simulates some of the uh, dust um, dunes up on the Mars surface. Okay, with, so this is the, Mars. Yeah, so that uh, the... Uh, Check this out. <clears throat> I just dropped it and it went down like 10 inches. Incredible how, how, how much of a difference that is. So this is where you're testing out the stuff that's going to be the tires and the wheels that are going to be up on Mars. That's I love what it. we're doing. I so. love it. Um, if you're getting your tires and wheels ready this morning, let's get you out the door.